In terms of consent, how do I balance my 12-year-old's resistance to showering with respecting her boundaries? She needs to strongly be encouraged to wash. And welcome back to Sitting in a Car. I'm Sarah Sproul and I sit in a car with you each week answering a question to help you raise your confident and caring young person to respect themselves and the people around them. I love this question about showering because um, the, que- the person who asked the question put in there about consent, right? So this parent acknowledges that um, we can be teaching our child about consent, even with the most basic everyday interactions that we might have around their body and their hygiene. So um, this reminds me of a story in our family. So we did a renovation about five years ago. And when we moved back into our house, um, all the kids were in the habit of using the ensuite bathroom to shower and brush their teeth and do all the things, which is fine. But we also had this new family bathroom, which, you know, they weren't in the habit of using because we had not been living there. So there was one day when we were all squashed into this tiny little place and everyone was trying to do their bits and pieces before bed. And I happened to say to our eldest, you know what? You're old enough now that you could probably go um, into the family bathroom and use that to get ready for bedtime. You could use it for your showering and your toothbrushing and whatever. And it was really interesting in that moment because she looked at me and she was like, oh, yeah. And it was like she hadn't even thought of that before. Because so many of us, we just get into this habit, this routine. Um, And showering is one of those things that sometimes children aren't necessarily not doing it on purpose, but they're in a routine of a particular way and they haven't caught up to the fact that that their pubescent body needs something different. So let's work out what the three tips are for this particular scenario. So point one, if our child needs some encouragement to take a shower, it could be because they don't realize that um, they are starting to smell. Oftentimes we don't necessarily smell ourselves, right? So it's sort of a gentle way to say, um, you know what? As we get older, our body changes and our body produces more oil and the bacteria that is on everybody's skin um, starts to make smells that it wouldn't have made when we were younger. So it's a very exciting opportunity to realize that you are growing towards adulthood. Uh, But what that also means is you need to shower like an adult. So adults mainly need to shower every day or every two days. And so by saying that, we are framing it in this way that it's very exciting they're growing up and now they need to act more like an adult point two sometimes kids don't realize that when we clean ourselves we might do it for us but also we do it for the people around us because um we might not realize we smell and we want to hang around with our friends but our friends are sort of like (laughs) And our friends might not be able to tell us that we're smelly. And that is the job of a loving, trusted family member. That a family member can tell our child this. So it's sort of like our job as a parent. So we can say, you know what, Um, because you're growing up and your body is smelling more, it's going to be really important to make sure that um, you manage those smells so the people around you don't have to sit next to someone that smells a bit ooey. Have you ever smelt something disgusting and they might say yes the bin smells disgusting before we take it out after two weeks of sitting beside the house or um, a rubbish tip smells disgusting or the water treatment facility in whatever county country or place in the world you are there are lots of things children understand that smells don't smell nice and um, if we want to be uh, a fun and uh, respectful friend then we keep ourselves clean so that we aren't that smelly thing that our friends have to sit next to Point three, there could be a whole heap of other reasons why this 12-year-old is not showering. And I've written a whole list and I want to go through them just so that we can start widening our mind of why this 12-year-old might not be showering. Let's have a look. Maybe she forgets. Maybe she doesn't feel dirty or she doesn't see herself looking dirty. So maybe her values are different. What do you think a child looks like who is clean? She may have a different sort of idea to that. And it's um, an opportunity to negotiate what clean looks like. 
Maybe she's more interested in spending her time reading or playing Minecraft and washing is just a low priority. And then there's a conversation that can be had around that. Maybe she might not know how to actually wash herself. Um, some of us as parents, we're so busy doing our everyday thing that when our eldest child or one of our children get to puberty, we might be so busy juggling work or running a household or maybe we've got twin babies or we are fostering a sick puppy or whatever it is that some things, things just slide under the radar for weeks and weeks and weeks and then all of a sudden we realize we have a smelly almost teen. So uh, that could be a reason. Maybe she might feel uncomfortable being naked and which case uh, showering or bathing is not a pleasant experience for her and she is avoiding it for that reason. Maybe there is no lock on the bathroom door. Some families sort of don't need a lock on the bathroom door and so when the first child grows up all of a sudden they need more privacy and the environment doesn't support that. Maybe there are sensory problems there. Maybe um, the bathroom is too loud when the shower is running or too bright or maybe it's too hot. Maybe it's too cold. Maybe um, the time to shower is too early in the morning or too late at night. So all these things can be changed or altered to help showering or bathing become more of a pleasurable experience. So what are your 12 year old's needs around being clean or what are your 12 year old's needs or the best way for them to feel clean and do it in a comfortable way? Uh, how can all these issues be uncovered and start to be solved? And that will look like some sort of conversation, right? So it could be uh, something like this. Uh, I learned something new today you know, I love that sentence data, right? I learned something new today. It works for so many different things. I learned something new today that um, all people have different ways that they can feel comfortable about getting clean. And I realized that I think I know what mine are, but I have no idea what yours are. So uh, why don't we go and get a coffee or go and get a hot chocolate and have a chat about how I can help you to be 12 and to grow up into a comfortable uh, new almost adult kids love that by the way they love being called oh you're growing up to be close to an adult now it's pretty exciting for them so let's sum up how are the ways that we can talk to a 12 year old about the need to shower point one we can say that it's time to uh, be like an adult if your body is time to grow into an adult need to um, do the things that adults do too which is showering more point two we could say that we um, need to stay clean so that we are pleasant to be around and our friends don't have to sit next to something that is a little bit smelly and three as a parent there may be some problem solving that needs to go on for you here because maybe there is a reason why showering or washing or bathing isn't fun and there will need to be a little bit of um, investigation to work out what is going on and how can showering bathing or staying clean be a more pleasurable fun experience for your 12 year old daughter this episode of Sitting in a Car is brought to you by a Become a Comfortable Parent. Become a Comfortable Parent is a week-long workshop series that helps you take the first steps to become a more comfortable parent around the subjects of puberty, bodies, and sex. To save your spot, go to sarahsproul.com forward slash comfortable, sarahsproul.com forward slash comfortable to reserve your place. And that's sitting in a car for another week where I've answered a question to help you raise your confident and caring young person to respect themselves and the people around them. And while I've got you here, can I ask for your help? Would you like repost or subscribe to sitting in a car? When you do that, other parents just like you find the help they need to do this part of their parenting even better. Thanks for that and bye for now. Consent. How do I balance my child's... My, blah, 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 start again. <sighs> Oh, it's still going. Oops, sorry about that. Okay. I'm getting hot. It's getting very, very hot here sitting in the car. Scrap that. I'm going to have to do that again. Scrap it.